So welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, it's Keith once again and what we're taking a look at today is once again the AMD A12 9800. Now that it's been out for a while and we've given the motherboard manufacturers more than enough time to update their BIOS to reflect what AMD put in this particular slide in their marketing material when referring to Ryzen 3 launch that the APU series would be unlocked. Well. Unfortunately, they have yet to be unlocked. They are unlocked on AMD side. It's just up to the motherboard manufacturers to unlock them in the BIOS. And we're on version 1.91 of the BIOS for the MSI B350 Tomahawk motherboard. That's uh, right here. It's a little bit out of there. Uh, but while we got that up, we're running the MSI B350 Tomahawk motherboard with the A12-9800 processor and 16 gigs of Trident Z DDR4-3200. Unfortunately, we're only able to run it at 2400 instead of the 3200 because it's locked by the motherboard. The multiplier for the I, the GPU is, is well locked and so the CPU portion is unlocked but it doesn't really change values in the operating system so it stays the same. All of that aside, what I wanted to do is after taking a look at a couple of synthetic scores where the throttling doesn't really take place, so if it's on a GPU function test, it's the GPU is able to run full speed, CPU function, CPU as well. So what we did, we saw this result that we're going to put up on screen, the result for 3D Mark Skydiver. It actually shows the R7 graphics in the APU a bit ahead of the R7 250. So this is a very basic uh, entry level graphics card that was very popular back in its generation. It's a bit outdated at this point. Point, would have been replaced by something like the RX 550, but we didn't have one of those on at hand and we didn't really see the point in ordering one just for this video. What we wanted to do is take a look at just a handful of games. So we're only looking at three games here, so it's not a large 15 game comparison, but we wanted to see what happens in actual gaming once the APU is throttled back to maintain its 65 watt TDP versus what a similarly performing dedicated GPU would do and get an idea of what we could see if it ever becomes unlocked. So of course one of the first games that we took a look at was Counter-Strike Global Offensive because a game like this is something that is touted for things like the APUs. Now all three of the games that we look at we ran it all at 720p at medium settings. So Counter-Strike Global Offensive we see the R7 250 pulling 103 average FPS and 78 for the APU. The minimums were a bit poor on both to be quite honest. The overall experience was playable on both, but it could have been much better on the APU. It's you know lagging 20% behind the R7250 despite being ahead of it in the synthetic test. Moving on to Dirt Rally, you see a very similar story here, almost the exact same story, but Dirt Rally, which has been playing in the background of this video if you've been watching it, is fairly smooth on the APU. It's uh, not quite as good as a dedicated graphics card, obviously, but it's definitely a playable experience. So Bioshock Infinite was the last title that we took a look at and it actually fared fairly well for the APU only falling 10 FPS below average of the R7 250 as well as well 10, 10 FPS down the board. So what we can gather by looking at this that is if one day the APU does become fully unlocked you can actually see dedicated GPU level performance albeit a very entry level graphics card but one that's capable of running games at 720p and even lower set like low settings at 1080p and get good results which is pretty impressive for just an iGPU on a single chip but it is quite unfortunate that this is where we're still at with it but we will be holding on to the chip because once Raven Ridge does come along that's going to be the improvements that are going to be really interesting to see so if you found this video entertaining or informative whatsoever, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. If you have any comments to add down there, in the, you know, do so in the uh, comment section. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. We'll catch you guys in the next video.